Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to Morning Tales for 24th July 2019. So today we are going to discuss uh, some questions uh, which have been uh, discussed in the newspaper early in the morning as well as uh, yesterday. And uh, I will be very shortly starting with another set of uh, questions from Static General Knowledge. And uh, I hope that will also be liked by you. But for the meantime, let's start with Morning Tales for today, wherein I'm going to discuss some questions and some interesting facts and informations related to those questions. You can also take these uh, quizzes by directly going to the website. So you don't need to go anywhere else. Just go to the website, click on quizzes section and you will be taken to Morning Tales and the entire history is available. You can take these quizzes live there as well. The first question is where will the 11th edition of Defense Expo 2020 be organized? So Defense Expo is held every year and we have to identify where will the Defense Expo 2020 be organized. The answer to this question is uh, D. Uttar Pradesh. It is going to be organized in UP or Lucknow, the capital of UP for the first time. So the answer is D. Uttar Pradesh. The second question is who among the following has become the first Asian to be inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame? That's a big feat. First Asian. That's why this question is all the more important. Although three people have been inducted in uh, Hall of Fame this year, but uh, this question becomes important because she's the first India, first Asian, sorry, to be inducted in National Tennis Hall of Fame. Well, the International Tennis Hall of Fame is located in Newport in Rhode Island in United States. Newport, Rhode Island, Rhode Island in United States. Okay. And uh, that's the place that is important. And every year, some of the other uh, uh, winners of important competitions in the field of tennis are included in the Hall of Fame. The answer to this question is Li Na, who is a Chinese uh, tennis player who has been inducted in this Hall of Fame for the first time, the Asian. Recently, WHO has declared Ebola outbreak in DASH as a public health emergency of international concern. So Ebola is a viral disease which is transferred to humans through bodily fluids, whether it is through uh, intercourse or sexual activity, whether it is through blood, whether it is through breast milk uh, of lactating mothers. It can be anything. Uh, and it is uh, believed that Ebola uh, started through bats as carriers. So bats were the animals uh, which started carrying uh, Ebola virus in them without getting affected. And recently Democratic Republic of Congo, which is an African country, has been uh, identified that Ebola outbreak is happening there and WHO has declared Ebola outbreak there. Let's come to the fourth question for today. The question is between which two countries has Motihari Amlekh Ganj Petroleum Products Pipeline been established? Now why this question is important because it relates to India directly. Motihari is uh, uh, in India and uh, in Bihar and Amlekh Ganj is in Nepal. So the answer to this question is India and Nepal. It's a probably 69 or 64 kilometers long pipeline. That's not important. It's an oil pipeline. And because uh, all of you must be aware that Nepal is a landlocked country and therefore uh, it is very difficult for Nepal to receive oils or other transports, important transport, uh, 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 you know, uh, things that it needs for its economy and therefore uh, creating things like oil pipelines help in reducing the cost or reducing the price of oil and at the same time uh, provide a boost to the economy. Okay. The next question is who has been awarded with the Sangeeta Kalanidhi Award 2019 of Madras Music Academy. A very important question, very high chances of this being asked in the examination. The answer is S. Soumya. S. Soumya has been awarded the 2019 Sangeet Kalanidhi Award. Another important award is Sangeet Kala Acharya Award, which also has been awarded in the same ceremony. Sita Narayan and M.S. Sheila. Sita S. Narayan, S. Narayan and M.S. Sheila have been awarded the Sangeeta Kala Acharya Award. Okay, so these two are important here. Now, uh, uh, S. Soumya, a little bit about her. She has been uh, tilted and uh, an expert in Carnatic music. Carnatic music. The spelling of Carnatic is important here. It's not Karnataka, it's Carnatic music. Okay. She has been an expert in Carnatic music and because of her role in promoting Carnatic music, the Madras Music Academy which provides or announces the Sangeet Kalanidhi award has awarded her. 
okay let's come to the next question and uh, the last question for today which movie has been recently included in the national film archives of india the name of the movie is hindu sarkar a hindu sarkar that's the name of the movie which has been included in national archives and the director who is the director that's important i think that can be asked in the examination the director is madhur madhur bhandarkar very popular director his a lot of his movies have been included in national archives Uh, to name a few chandni bar page 3 corporate traffic signal fashion all these movies were made by madhur bhandarkar and uh, bhandarkar bhandarkar and uh, they had been included in national archives and this is the latest one can be asked in the examination as well okay so the director as well as the name of the movie are important so this is all for today's uh, morning tales i hope you liked it i will be starting with, with uh, some static gk questions as well and we will start discussing uh, a lot about those static uh, topics from which these questions will be picked up very soon for the upcoming examinations so after taking this quiz you can just provide your details and uh, go to results and you will be shown what exactly is your result how many did you get it right how many did you get it wrong and that will ensure that every day you are up to mark when it comes to uh, morning tales or when it comes to daily quizzes okay so that's all for today all the very best take care come back tomorrow for more morning tales